Buddy, Mikey Cat Outdoors here. So what are we doing today? Well, down at Camp Anasank, Ozark, Illinois, in the Shawnee Forest. Woo. Yeah, woohoo! So we were down here about three years ago, before the pandemic, to family camp. And uh, my son's going to camp for a week, so we're just down here for the night, checking it out, and I'll check him in tomorrow. <laughs> This is uh, Braybra. I stayed here uh, about three years ago. I think we were in that one, weren't we? Yeah. Yeah, number one. Feeling groovy, yep. So that's where we were last time. Three-sided shelters, you just put up your screen and camp out amongst the uh, critters and the stars and pretty cool. Celia, you're breaking my heart. Woo! That one hasn't been slept in in a while. There she is, Mrs. Robinson. Nobody's paid her a visit for a while either. The sound of silence. Got the uh, bridge here. It leads to the uh, suspension bridge. It's a little rickety when you go over it, but it's neat. It's really fun when you got like a 400 pound man in front of you. When you go on this, that was real wobbly that time. Whew. Woo, doggy. Wobbly, wobbly. Definitely got to have a little bit of uh, bravery going over this. <laughs> Boards creaking, bridge rocking. Oh yeah. Woo, doggy. The other part of the trail down there. Just kind of making our way around the lake here a little bit and uh, exploring parts where we were before. This is a nice camp to go to. Uh, if you guys are ever down here, if you have kids that want to go to camp, it's a nice place to do it. Um, if you want to hike at Camp Anasank, it's privately owned, so you'd actually have to uh, call them up and get permission before entering any of the trails out here. Picture time. So we're out here near the spillway. I got all the different rocks and water and it's pretty cool out here. John Cranberry. John Cranberry. His second cousin. The green trail over by the spillway. And we're going to continue on the white trail going up the road around the lake.
And hopefully the horse flies don't bite the heck out of me. <laughs> they love me, I'm like candy. So we're still hiking around a bit, doing a complete trail around the lake. Yeah, listen to those frogs. All of John Cranberry's cousins, brothers, sisters, uncles, grandparents, and distant relatives. Boatloads of them out there. Power for magic! So if I get time in the morning, uh, after my son goes to wherever he's going, I might check this place out, Chavanel. That's wild. Woo! Getting blinded by the light. Ooh, look at this. It's like a bunch of nice rock bluffs here. It's awesome. That's cool. Bluffage. Mmm. That is some beautiful water. <laughs> That water looks a lot better on that side. Whew. But it don't smell that great. <laughs> Stagnant. Oh. It's pretty nice out here. Getting a little dark and grainy. On a phone though, in the dim light. About 8.30 at night. So we're probably got another half an hour or so of daylight. So we're kind of just following around the lake and we're past this whatever you want to pronounce it and eventually we'll come back around the end part and then back over to the main part of the uh, camp so this one here is like Lalande but it's got the bluffs all these nice cabins up here Amongst them, that's pretty neat. I'll have to check this out in the daylight. Well, made it back to the main part of the camp around the lake. What'd you guys all think of that hike? I don't ever want to do it again. Never? Never. Oh. I thought it was refreshing. I'm just a big old human pile of sweat. Whew. Oh, we're gonna cross this bridge when we come to it. That was neat. Ooh, light it up. Well, we're back here. Here, uh, Noel. We're going to be hanging out there for the night. Good morning, everybody. So we're here at uh, the Noel Center, Anasank. Waking up, starting to pack stuff away a little bit and get ready for breakfast. So, raining today. It's supposed to be raining all the way throughout the day and the night. Spot showers here and there, maybe some hail. Uh, tomorrow morning I think it'll be raining a little bit too so my son's gonna have a wet day for his first uh, experience here so <laughs> that'll be interesting so this is kind of a setup we've got a uh, little bunkhouse style room head bathroom and it's got some bunk cots we managed to get a regular bed, which wasn't too bad. And then there's some more cots down the way that my uh, daughter's been sleeping. We're here uh, looking at the library. That's a scary one. Dog stories. <laughs> Happy rainy Sunday, everybody. So, uh... It's been pouring and sprinkling and pouring and sprinkling and it's gonna be that way for probably the next day, day and a half. Uh, 
got my son registered and uh, gonna be walking back to uh, the little cavey area where he's gonna be sleeping. So this will be fun. Road water? Yeah. That's what you get for playing in the mud. Chabonel. So this is where we were last night. We uh, came out here. I had a feeling we were going to walk this stuff out. It's gonna be a nice adventure. Mm -hmm. That's some wet on the trail today. Here we are. Magical, mystical wonderland. Even has a waterfall. Look at all that beauty. Yeah, heavy horses, aqualung, thick as a brick. This is wild. Look at that beautiful waterfall. Got our little uh, water tree there. And number five. Johnny number five. Cool beans. This is a uh, the little one's gonna be staying. He can pick his bunk and beautiful view. Well, there's the little guy set up. It's gonna be kind of sad to see him go for a week, but eh, a lot of us get to go to camp and you grow through it. So hopefully he'll be all right. Not all parents worry about that when they gotta leave their little ones for a week. Yeah. Gonna miss them? Yeah. Yeah. What are you gonna miss the most? His kindness. His laughter. I think I'm gonna miss him like chasing after the cat. Yeah. <laughs> hugging, hugging Coco until she meows. Yeah, he'll have a good time. It will be a learning experience. And it will be fun.
Yeah. <laughs> if you go up, there's like stairs up that way, you can get a shortcut to the... Uh... Looky here, I got some uh, mayapple fruits. There's several of them around here, like four. Uh, well, fifth one way down there, it's kind of yellow. That's awesome, man. Mayapple fruits in July. Yum, 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 or cattails. Woo! They're in the woods. They look real good. They're cattails. Got the wolf lounge. Look at that. Hammocks, hammocks, and more hammocks. Ooh, water. <laughs> That's how this one is too. It's all wet. Like even if I flip this over, it's so be bad. You can sleep and take a bath at the same time. Uh oh, you're crazy. That's just water. So what are you thinking? It's all right. Although I can't sit in the middle, otherwise I will get rain, water, and dirt on me. Yeah. I'll oh, set up something like this in our yard. Yeah, that might be nice. <laughs> there you go. Take a hug. Love you, bud. Love you too, Dad. Well, everybody, we're going to be heading out soon. So, my son's uh, going to be spending a week in the outdoors. Woohoo! Yep. Yep, going to miss you, buddy. Going to miss you too, Dad. Aw. Be careful. No running. <laughs> So, a lot more people have finally showed up, about 3 in the afternoon, but you got a lot of uh, bunks and stuff set up now. Looks like we got a uh, photobomb opportunity. No. <laughs> well, everybody, if you like what you've seen, feel free to like, comment, subscribe. Catch you again, yeah, doors. As always, thanks for watching. Goodbye!